Okay, year seven. So this is my reminder on how to multiply decimals. The question we're looking at here is about Mr. Gale. And he wants to buy 18 new door stops for the boarding house. They cost £2.69 each. So how much will Mr. Gale need to pay altogether? The first thing we need to look at here is which numbers we are trying to multiply together. We want 18 lots of £2.69. So we're going to try and do 18 times £2.69. So, step one, as I'm sure you can remember by now, is to estimate. So what we do is we say to ourselves, which number that is easy to work with is close to 18? And I think the answer that's close to 18, that's easy to multiply with, is going to be 20. Then we've got £2.69. What's a close number to 2.69 that's going to be easy to use? I think the answer is 3. What is 3 lots of 20? Well, that is 60. So our estimate is going to be 60. When we get to the end of our calculation, we want an answer that is something close to 60. Step 2, then, is to actually do the multiplying. And you can use any method that you like here. I like the diagonal grid method, so I'm going to use that one. Here we use the full numbers, not our estimate. But if you remember, we don't put any decimals in. So now I am doing 2, 6, 9, multiplied by 18. 269 times 18. So 9 times 1 is 9, and I can put a 0 here if I like. 1 times 6 is 6, and I can put a 0 here if I like. And 2 times 1 is 2, with a 0 here if I like. 9 eighths is a bit harder. 9 eighths are 72. Good times tables practice on the 8 times table here. 6 eighths are 48. And 2 eighths are 16. Once we've done our box filling, we have to add up the diagonals. So we've got 2 here. Now, 7, 8, and 9 is a bit tricky. 7, 8, and 9. Let's have a think about that. I think that will be 24. So we put a 4 here and carry the 2. 6, 6, 4, and 2 we need to add up now. 6, 6, 4, and 2. That is 18. And we carry the 1. 2, 1, and 1. That is 4. 4, 8, 4, 2. So we know that 269 times by 18 is 4, 8, 4, 2. Now it's important that we move on to step 3. Remember step 3 is putting the decimal point back in the right place. We've got 2.69 times by 18, and we said, back in our estimate, we wanted an answer somewhere near 60. So 4.842 is not going to be correct. 484.2 is definitely not going to be correct. The closest that we can get to 60, although it's not that close, it's close enough for what we need, 48.42. That's the best place to put the decimal back. That is the closest that we can get to 60. So, 2.69 times 18 is 48.42. Mr. Gale needs to spend £48.42p buying his doorstops.